tip for when you're preparing LB agar plates. While you have the LB agar in the autoclave, go ahead and set a water bath to 55 degrees Celsius. Then when those bottles come out and they're super duper hot, stick them in the water bath and now you can safely forget about them. Well, don't actually forget about them, but by putting them in here, you don't have to then monitor them really closely over time to make sure that they don't overcool and then jellify and then you get like all clumps in your gel. So basically, ag uh, the LB agar isn't going to start solidifying until about like 45 degrees Celsius. So if you set it to 55, you're going to be safely above that. But it's also not going to be so hot that it's going to hurt your antibiotics or hurt your plates. So you don't want to pour it right when it comes out of the autoclave because, well, one, it's really, really hot. So unless you're wearing those big Elmo gloves, it's not going to work. Um, you're going to burn your hands. But more importantly, or I guess, I don't know about more importantly, but when you add the antibiotics, if it's really hot, it's going to break or like degrade them. And so that kind of negates the purpose of having those antibiotics in the first place, which is really important if we're trying to do bacterial selection. So we want to let the media cool off a little before we actually add those antibiotics. And by sticking the hot water bath at 55 degrees Celsius, we're able to get to a temperature at which we can add the antibiotics and give them, give them time to to mix and give us time to pour the plates all before we reach that 45 42 degrees or so when it starts solidifying another helpful tip for actually mixing those antibiotics is when you autoclave the lb agar go ahead and do it with the stir bar in there don't worry it'll be safe in the autoclave and what's going to happen now is that when you add your antibiotic you can use a magnetic stir plate to mix it up rather than having to like try to swirl or shake it which is likely to introduce bubbles and you don't want to get bubbles on your plate and then be like is that a colony or is that a bubble so autoclave it with the stir bar in it while the autoclave is running go ahead and set your water bath to 55 degrees celsius take your stuff out of the autoclave it'll be really really hot so wear those elmo gloves stick it in the water bath um and then in an hour two hours or so it'll be good and it'll be good even if you did accidentally of course forget about it um so this helps you plan out your day and not have to worry about constantly monitoring it of course if you need it to cool quicker then you don't don't use the water bath um just kind of leave it out at room temp or you can even kind of rinse some cold water over it just make sure that um like don't set it in cold water because then what's going to happen is the bottom will solidify but not the top Trust me, that happened to me once, but you can kind of run it under some cold water if you want um, to cool it off faster. But if you're not in a rush, go ahead and stick it in the water bath. Hope that helps.